The Goose Gear lockable drawer modules feature dovetailed Baltic birch for superior strength and are offered in several configurations depending on your vehicle. Installation is as easy as installing eight bolts into the Goose Gear plate system. Now the camp kitchen's been installed, it's time to install the drawer module. All right, carefully slide the drawer module in over the top and set it down. I'm gonna push it back behind this hinge on the Jeep and get it roughly lined up. Now that the drawer is roughly set in place, we're gonna open the drawer box and we're gonna remove it from the module. To remove the drawer box, we're going to take and push these metal tabs up and then lightly tug on the drawer box. Grab it firmly from the sides and slide it straight out of the drawer guides. So we have four corners to tighten down now, just like on the camp kitchen. So I'm gonna push the drawer guides in and out of the way. We're gonna loosen these feet so that we can slide them into position. With the module foot loose, we're gonna take and slide it into position over the bolt holes in the plate, in these two sections. And then we're gonna repeat that on the other three locations on the module. Again, we're loosening the other side, and then we're gonna slide this bracket over position over the two bolt holes. And we're gonna reach in, and we're gonna loosen these two feet, and we're gonna move them into position over the anchor points in the plate. And onto the last corner, we're gonna loosen this foot up also, move it to position, and get it ready to bolt it to the plate. All of the Goose Gear modules will bolt down with a quarter 20 by three quarter bolt and a lock washer. Now we're moving to the other side and then we gotta get the back two corners and we're ready to bolt this thing down for once and for all. Now that we've gotten all the bolts finger tight, we can use the impact to seat the module firmly in place. Now that we've secured the feet to the plate, it's time to tighten the plate to the modules. Moving on to the other side, get the module bolted to the feet. When you install the drawer in the back into the module, you wanna make sure you hold it parallel to the drawer box as you slide it in to not damage. You wanna make sure you slide it in parallel to the drawer box so that you don't damage the drawer guides. There's gonna be a lot of resistance when you do it. It's good to cycle the drawer box a few times to get rid of that resistance. 